Hello everyone, it's Natalie and today I'm doing a little bit of a different video than I normally do. <laughs> this video is about a couple of um, clothing items that I've found that I've looked up their retail prices or around what their retail price would be and they are worth a lot more than what I paid at the thrift store. So I love thrift shopping because I don't like spending a lot of money at the stores. Um, plus, I can get a lot of cute things and a lot of retro things at very cheap prices. And it's also good because um, fast fashion pieces that you can buy at a department store may not last that long because um, they're not really made to last, but clothes that are from the past were made to last, like especially jeans. So um, it's really great if you go to Goodwill, it already lasted that long So um, from when it was made, so it's going to last even longer for you. A disclaimer, um, going through shopping, especially at Goodwill, can be messy and dirty. I know the dressing rooms at the Goodwill I go to are disgusting. They are absolutely disgusting. <laughs> Um, but that's kind of the price you pay for not paying, um, you know, such a large price for the good items that you got. We're going to jump into the clothes. I have six pieces I want to show you guys, and three of them are from Goodwill, and three of them are from a consignment shop um, chain called Plato's Closet. So let's jump into it. First up is Goodwill clothes. So this is a more recent find of mine. It is a um, J. Crew graphic t-shirt. It looks brand new, it's super soft, and it says um, Surf Shop. And it's a slight blue color, and it is super soft, and it's a big t-shirt, and I love big graphic tees, because they're so easy to style. You can pair them with jeans, or over top a dress. Really, you can do anything with them. And um, J. Crew's graphic t-shirts are normally $35, and I bought this for 75 cents at Goodwill. Um, so, and it looks like it was hardly worn. So, that's that one. Another one of my more recent finds is this oversized, or really, it's a men's large. So, oversized for me, um, red Izod sweater, and it has the coolest, um, block kind of pattern on it. And I find, I found this at Goodwill for $5.75, and the Izod sweaters can range from $60 to $80. So I'm pretty happy with this. It's in great condition, no rips or tears or stains or anything. So I'm really excited to pair this with a white t-shirt underneath for so you can see the collar of it and then some ripped jeans. My next find is what I like to call my Kramer jacket. It is a um, brown, a greenish brown suede overcoat. Um, it's just a thin layer coat, but I've styled this with a white long sleeve and black ripped jeans um, And I really love it and the brand is called Fleet Street and I looked it up and it is a Kohl's brand and Some of the jackets on Fleet Street. I think the cheapest I saw was $120 and those are more those are downed and more involved than just this thin one, but it's a good brand Um and so, yeah, I bought this. That was the price of this, too. These jackets and sweaters at Goodwill are $5.75. So I was pretty happy to find out that. Now I'll be going through the three items that I found at a consignment store chain called Plato's Closet. And these items were purchased, of, you know, Goodwill. You can get more for your money than if you go to a consignment shop because they buy back clothes. So, um you do have to pay a little more, but you also get nice dressing rooms and just a cleaner, more organized environment, typically. So, and Plato's Closet that I go to is super organized. Everything's organized by type and color and size. So it's really good for ease of shopping if you know there's something specific you're looking for. Whereas Goodwill, you get more of like everybody's junk. So you can really, it's a large quantity for you to sift through. So usually there's a gem there. And um, Goodwill, I usually find something. I think I've found something every time I go to Goodwill. But um, Plato's Closet for me can be hit or miss because it is more trendier clothing and I don't tend to buy as trendy of clothing. But um, anyway, let's jump into it. So the first thing that I got is this um, Brandy Melville. Um, it's a 
it's not really a rain jacket. It's not really, it's not waterproof at all. It's not really a jacket. It's more of a, for decoration. It's, um, as you can see, you can see the hanger through it. It's very see-through and it has elastic at the bottom. So I like to wear a white or black t-shirt underneath of this and it's just a good little accent piece. And I always get compliments on it. I think it's super cool. And um, I couldn't find, because Brandy Melville doesn't sell this anymore, I couldn't find the exact price, but um, their jackets, I would think this would be around $30, maybe $25. And I paid, um, four, or no, I paid 18 for it. So yeah, not as good deals as Goodwill, but it's also the nicer shopping experience. Okay, so the other thing that I've gotten at Plato's Closet is this green velvet t-shirt. It doesn't really show up well on camera, but it's an emerald velvet t-shirt. It's super cute. And um, it is from the Impressions Lifestyle brand. And I found a similar velvet t-shirt of theirs um, for $40. And I paid $8 for this. My last item of this little um, thrift shopping showcase um, is this awesome ripped jean jacket. It is actually the PacSun brand. So normally this would probably be um, 50 to $70. That's where their jean jackets, um, or their men's jean jackets, because this is a men's jean jacket, but um, their men's jean jackets usually range between that, so, and I bought this for $14, um, so I'm pretty happy about that, and it has rips and stuff, but they're supposed to be there, um, so I am very excited, um, to wear that more. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this inspires you to go thrift shopping, and I think I'll be making a video or blog post at some point with my thrift shopping tips because it can be very overwhelming, especially if you walk into a huge Goodwill that's disorganized and messy and just chaos. <laughs> um, but if you want to get into thrift shopping and uh, Goodwill seems a little dirty or overwhelming, then I recommend going to your local consignment shop and starting small and working yourself up to the bigger shopping trips. So thank you so much for watching again. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.